Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Drizzle ORM. Today we are going to learn how to connect to the Postgres using the Drizzle ORM. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. In the last video, we have done how to connect to the MySQL using the Drizzle ORM. So this is an extension of that one. So I'm not going to set up the TypeScript again. I'm not going to add something over there. So just I'm just going to extending with the my uh, with Postgres. Okay, so let's get started or I can just make a new fresh installation. Okay, let's have a look on that one. Okay, so I'm going to create a new directory of the app. So here we go with this one. Let me hide this. Let's create from the scratch. Okay, CD. So let's create the application. Make directory express. We will go with the Postgres. Okay, CD, my express hyphen Postgres. Okay, so let's go and just initiate initiate with the npm package with the npm init y. Okay, next we have to go install the express. Okay, install this. Now we have to install this TypeScript also. Next, we have to go with initialize with tsconfig.json. Okay, now make direct make a directory source. Okay, next we have to create index.ts file in the source. So let's open the code base. Okay, in the source we have to create a new file that is index.ts and let's update the code with this one. Okay, and in the packet.json file, we have to update the npm start. So here we go with this one. So here we go with the packet.json file. So I need to update with lock. This is lock. So for the starting, we have to go with just add these lines. Packet.json and here just put a comma and add this npm start. Okay. TS config is already there, so let's npm start so it will run the TypeScript. Okay, so it's running on the TypeScript. If I just open the link, here you can see that hello from the TypeScript Express, right? So TypeScript is set up. Let's move to the Postgres. Okay, so here we go with the Postgres SQL. Let's scroll down. So here we go with the no, this is not that one. We have to install the Drizzle ORM PG. So let's install this. Paste this Drizzle ORM. And with the go with the Drizzle kit, we have to install. It take hardly one minute. I suppose. done. Let's install this. After the installation, let's go and create the db.ts file. Okay, so in the db, let's go and just go with this one. In the source, we have to create a new folder that is db, and here we need to create a new file that is db.ts. Okay, let's update the code. So this is the code that I need to update. Okay, so let's update this code. Why it's showing me the error? The client is redirected. Okay, I need to just go and extract the another one that is Postgres extract here. Okay, so I need to just go with the source and db db.ts file. Just open it and I need to just copy this. Okay, so make sure you have to add this code. Okay, so this is the connection string. So uh, po my username is Postgres. Sorry. Postgres and my password is admin. And uh, 
So DB I'm going to use. Let's open the PG admin and check which DB I want to use. Okay, let's have a look of this one. Test. And we have REST API I'm going to use. And here we have, let's see how many tables we have. So we have a tables that is users, you already there, users and all. Let's truncate this. Truncate. Or delete this. Delete. User, I'm going to delete this also. Delete okay so here also i'm going to delete this also delete prisma let's delete this blog delete delete and this also i'm going to delete this okay so tables is empty right so let's uh, here we have which table i'm rest api right so it is rest api so the database i'm um, rest api right so let's put the database over here that is rest api save this this is done db.ts and the db we have to create a new file that is schema.ts okay so make sure schema.ts we have to create okay and in the schema.ts we have to update the code with this so here we go with the schema so let's create a schema like this okay pg tables serial text varchar from the pg core and uh, pg table we are using the users profile i think make it users profile or users users table is okay okay done so we have export this one with the id full name and the phone we are using save this schema done what's the next process we have to run the migrations right so we have to create a table with the okay we haven't added the in the packet or json let me open the packet or json for this and let's i think drizzle config.ts file is also not there so let's create this drizzle config or we will go with the drizzle what else we have to add only that one I think here we miss something. Okay, so here we have to in the source folder we have to go with the drizzle config.ts file. So let's create this in the source file. I need to create a new file that is drizzle config.ts. What it says? Config.ts it's a file or something it's showing something else delete in the source let's create a file okay the file name i need to again rename this dp result i think config.json it's appropriate i suppose okay let's update the code with the help of this right Let's paste this. Okay. Next step, we have to create this drizzle config.json in the root folder. So here I'm going to create that one. Just close this. And here I'm going to just add a config.json. That's very, very important. So migrations path and the schema path over there. I think we have left the schema also. Schema is there, right? So, okay. This is done. The next step would be like uh, we have to add the generate and the create tables into the packet.json file. Let's add this and create the tables and the migrations. First, we have to go with the generate one. So what we have to do, we have to go with the npm run generate. Enter this and uh, what no schema changes, nothing to migrate, I think nothing to migrate okay let's move to the next step we have to create a migrator over here so i'm going to create migrator in the migrations and here we have a migrator.es let's add this 
okay so here we go with this one let's create in the migrations new file that is migrator.ts okay let's add this done and everything is done okay so this will automatically run needed migrations on the database so it will give automatically create the tables currently we have no tables in the postgres right empty right so let's run the next query that is npm run create tables create tables or table let's have a look in the packet.json file what the command is so it's tables okay let's add the tables and let's generate the tables migration completed let's have a look that we have the table or not let's refresh this let's open it still it's not there let's refresh this because it says that it's automatic it's created but it's not there refresh okay okay i think there is a one issue that is that is here my sql is there i need to go with the postgres okay because i have copied from there right so that's the issue okay so let's go with the generate first one table is created that is the users okay now we are going to create tables okay so migration is completed and if i go and fetch this one refresh users table is there with no data okay there is a no data right so let's test it that we have successfully done the connection or not let's go to write the index.ts file okay so here we have we have to update the index.ts file right so this is that one so let's update the code over here and uh, here we have the postgres source index.ts let's open it and let's add the run query over there so this is we are going to create the records okay so run query and here we need to import the users let's copy paste the whole one okay done so here we have express db and the user schema and then run query okay so it will go here and insert from the user with the values this okay let's try to save this and run if it is added and here we are just selecting the database from the user as a result response okay so let's check this one npm start and let's have a look okay so let's go and hit this one and it will generate the records let's run this one record is added and here you can see that id full name and this one is also printed okay so this is how you can insert the data or connection between the drizzle orm and the ma and the postgres is done okay so any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day and let's see what are the new to what are the drizzle orm tutorials we can make I will make it okay any doubt do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day